remember that lovely triachium that we had planted out here last year? Well, I was looking forward to having some more this year, but the, uh, the one year plants that we'd propagated and uh, planted about, every single one of those died in the, uh, the really hard winter that we did this year. But anyway, as luck would have it, I've managed to find a load of fresh seedlings from that plant, that, that uh, mature plant from last year. And, um, and I'm gonna, now I'm going to um, pot those on so I can get some uh, a new sucker plants for the following season. But there's a couple of things you need to know. There are two mistakes that you need to avoid when potting on Echium seedlings. As luck would have it, we've got a pot full of Echium seedlings just here, and there are a few other patches where I've got a load coming through. But while I'm, while I'm standing right here, check out the flower on this peony. That is absolutely enormous. Really looking forward to that opening up. But anyway, so you see these? You've got to be very careful. What I'm going to do is lift some of these. Just be very careful that I leave the root as intact as possible. So here we have, we have the, uh, the seedlings we just pulled out. You can see, you know, it's um, a long, thin root on there. We want to pop those, I want to carefully tease those out of the soil, causing as little damage to these roots as possible. And then with uh, pots of fresh compost, fully sterilized like a big deep hole because it is a long tap root so I'll put, uh, drop that in there nice look at that lovely don't force it in and then just uh, support that with the Australian soil right now the one big mistake that people do when uh, when putting on these ceilings is leaving them like that but you can't do that because what tends to happen is those big leaves will uh, keep losing moisture and dry out the whole plant, the plant stem, the plant root, the whole thing will die off before it really gets going. So the key thing to do, the one thing you want to do is take off most of these big leaves. That is the trick to growing these on. You do that and pretty much guaranteed every single one of these will take and grow into a new plant. So once you've done all of these, finish those off in a minute, all you do, you water them in. <laughs> There's a second mistake you want to try and avoid on this, and that is leaving them outside. You can't leave them outside because um, you're going to get wind on them. The wind's going to increase the drying out. Of the uh, of the stems, and again reduce the uh, the viability of your seedlings because most of them just die uh, through desiccation. So do that. And what I'm going to do now is put them into the greenhouse, and uh, it's quite quick. Give it a couple of weeks, and these will all start to uh, to grow through, being strong roots will come through. And that is how you uh, you put on seedlings of vacuums. You do it differently. You're probably going to kill them off, but that's how I do it, and it's worked for me every single time. I do have a little tip for you. If you haven't got a greenhouse and uh, and you're not allowed to have all your plants uh, cluttering up the house, um, you can you can use one of these. Uh, it's a bottom of a, a bottle that I've cut off. And uh, what we do, well, I'll just just show you. So what you do, you just place that over the top there. It keeps the wind off, it gives humidity in, and it gives it a lot of protection. Also, gives it a little bit of warmth. It will warm up in there. And uh, keep it like that until um, the roots start to establish in the pot. And as soon as it's established, you can tell because you start seeing the new leaves coming through inside. Then pop that off. Right, so it's been three weeks since we uh, potted these on. We've had them in the greenhouse all that time. Just be aware that when plants are in the greenhouse at this time of year, you may need to consider opening the vents, opening the doors, so they don't get too hot. Because if temperatures go above 40 degrees, your plants are likely to, uh, to die back. Anyway, so here we go. And as I said in the, uh, earlier in this video, I expected all of these to survive and take, and as you can see, every single one of these has survived, thrived, new leaf, and possibly, mm -hmm. you, can, you can expect to see, just starting to put um, some root coming out of the pot there, but they're not fully established yet, so it'll be a couple more weeks before they are. And, um, but from this point, what we're gonna do is gonna harden these off. It takes about 10 to 12 days to harden off plants. You can't put these out in direct full sun because they will just scorch. All these leaves are still quite soft and being grown in the greenhouse. So place them outside in the shade and then bit by bit move them into a bit of morning sun or a bit of evening sun. 
don't put them out in uh, full sun because the, uh, the, 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 the top layer of cells will just scorch and die. The same as getting yourself sunburned. If you've been indoors for a couple of weeks, that's right, a couple of months, and then come out in full sun, you're at risk of getting sunburned. Same with the plants. So take your time, take, your, take a, a week or so harden, hardening them off, and then place them outside in their final position. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you've got any comments that you'd like to add or any great tips for uh, growing echiums, then let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.